Good morning and happy Tuesday. We have beautiful conditions for us as our live Zephyr Cam is showing. So if you're heading outdoors, make sure you're putting on the SPF. Definitely going to be a warm and sunny one. Taking a look at what we're tracking, there's an area of high pressure that's to the north of the state. And that's what's generating us our really solid trade wind flow, which is blowing up to about 20 miles an hour for today. Keeping humidity levels low, keeping things comfortable, and pushing us a few trade showers. There is an upper level low that's just to the northeast of the state. or. At in the upper atmosphere, cooler temperatures. So that's triggering some of the extra showers that we're expecting to be coming through for the windward areas. Although this morning, those are fairly limited, but shower activity expected to be trending higher in the overnight hours. But Thankfully, that area of high pressure keeping humidity levels very low and very comfortable. Now, this week is Hurricane Preparedness Week, and we actually have already had our first cyclone form. It was in the eastern Pacific, didn't make landfall, but we're now looking at post cyclone. Andres, and it didn't make landfall again. We didn't see any impacts from this, but it is a good reminder that we're just about three weeks away from the official start of hurricane season. The official forecast from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center yet to be released, but of course, when that comes out, I'll let you know what we're expecting for the upcoming season. Again, in terms of rainfall, really not seeing too much. A few spotty showers moving through for the windward sections this morning, especially for Maui County. But even for what we're seeing, it's really on the lighter side, fairly sparse. And that's what we're anticipating in the coming days. Future satellite and radar through Thursday shows these nice dry conditions. But an upper level low, it looks like going to be approaching the state on Friday. We'll see exactly how close that gets to us. That will really determine just how much extra rainfall we'll see. But we are anticipating at least a boost in windward showers Friday through Sunday. Let's look at your weather now. I'll send it on out to Surf News Network's Betty DiPolito, who has all you need to know on oh Gary Keeley, who has all you need to know on the surf front. Hey, good morning, GQ. I love dropping in on Bonsai <laughs> Betty. Good morning, Kelly. It's three feet on the North Shore. It's a dropping swell. The country's going to go into a pretty small time zone here. And again, three feet this morning. Go now. Good conditions. Light trade winds, but they'll fill into a fresh pace from the east northeast tilt. Small craft advisories up from Pilolo Channel to the Big Island waters. Makaha's one to two plus. Looking really nice. Great for snorkeling, too. Southern Shore's one to two with some bigger sets. Trying to be three feet. A new south swell reinforces today. Diamond Head up to three feet. Sandy's in Makapu'u, one to two with three foot sets out there. An extremely low tide at 9 a.m., going to a big high tide at 4.30, feeling today's new moon. Sun will set 7 o'clock sharp and rise at 5.54 a.m. And that is the update powered by Jersey Mike Subs. App is short for appetizing because you save 25% with code SURF25 when you use the Jersey Mike's app. Be a sub above.